And joining us now, early show contributor, Dr. Jennifer Hartstein, who's a child and adolescent psychologist. This is such a great topic. Mm -hmm. There are so many opinions on it, but what that mom just said at the end of this piece really struck me. She said, we're not going to compromise our lives just because we have children. I'm a parent of two small boys. Right. I think, though, that kind of attitude sometimes is what leads to this. Are you finding that? I, I am. I think that what's happening is people want to expose their kids to all sorts of different experiences, which is terrific. But by doing that, they're not really being aware of how that may impact other people as mm -hmm. well. It's clearly all about their family bubble and not about what's going on outside And them. it's not always an appropriate place to yes. bring your children. So let's look at this, these specific instances. We hear about sure. this restaurant in North Carolina. Children were not banned from the restaurant. There's a sign up that says, and I'm quoting here, screaming children will not be tolerated. The of the restaurant says, look, here's my issue. If your kid is screaming, having a meltdown, take them outside. Right. If they settle down, bring them back in. Is there anything wrong with a sign like that? I don't think so. I think what the restaurant is saying, what their expectation is, if there was a really drunk adult at the bar that was really unruly, they would ask that person to leave also. So we're really just kind of extending that expectation down to young children and asking parents to be in control. So for families who, sometimes it may not be feasible. I mean, we all have these demanding lives. A lot of, a lot of families have uh, two parents who are working mm -hmm. at this point. If you have to go to dinner, you know, some nights it's just easier. What are some checklists to know when your kids are really ready for those experiences? Right, it's in, there's some really important things to think about. Do your best to go early. Go as early as you can. If you can go 5, 5.30 before a restaurant fills up, then it doesn't really matter if your kids mm -hmm. are having a little bit of a meltdown. So you also want to order your kids' foods the second you sit down. Hunger, tired, those are things that really trigger kids to have tantrums. Oh, yes. So if you, <laughs> as, you as you know, so I think if you can do it early, you're better off. Then you want to bring as many activities as possible for your kids to do so that when you and your husband are having dinner, they're occupied. You're still interacting with them, but they have activities. And this is just to break in for a second, because we have a yeah. rule in our home where you can't have toys at the table, right. at the dinner table. But when we go out to a restaurant, we do bring coloring books, we bring crayons, we bring books. Right. It's okay to have a separate restaurant rule. There are di great, it's a great point. We want to have different rules for restaurants, different rules for planes, different rules for different activities, so your kids know the expectation. And so we want to really be able to do that. It's not bribery, it's right. just here's what you're going to do while we're out. And you mentioned expectations. Talk to them too right. before you go about what is expected of their behavior. Absolutely. And to tie into that, you mentioned it before about leaving. Be prepared to leave the restaurant. Be prepared to take your food to go and leave if that's really what happens. And lastly, set the time aside to have adult-only mm -hmm. time. Many people, as you mentioned, want to bring their kids everywhere, but having that time with just your spouse or friends is so important. Don't you also need to be realistic about, about where you're going? We kind of touched on this, but if you're going to take your kids somewhere. Obviously, you want it to be a kid-friendly place. Right. Noisy restaurants, great. Noisy restaurants <laughs> are great. And it doesn't mean just fast food. You can go to other restaurants that have a lot of kid activities, but you're not going to take your three-year-old to the opera. So you really want to know how much can they focus? Can they sit through a movie? Can they sit through dinner? Practice that at home and then decide where you want to take them. You mentioned bribery can be okay in some places or, or different rewarding, expectations. Right. Rewarding, mm -hmm. uh, sounds better. Like on a plane. <laughs> there was this story recently. A Southwest Airlines flight attendant uh, took a 13-month-old child away from right. the mother uh, they, they say the mother had hit the child when, when it was crying, couldn't settle down. Right. When is it okay to step in and offer your help? Because it can be overwhelming, especially on a plane. Right, and parents in those moments are so embarrassed and mortified oh. and frustrated because they can't help their kids. So I think it's a really delicate balance. Some parents will appreciate it because they just don't know what to do if someone says, can I help you? And sometimes that distraction is enough to get the kid to stop crying. So it's really a fine line. We aren't always so open to accepting help from strangers. Maybe if we were, mm -hmm. it would make it a little easier and we could all kind of work together a little more in those moments, but it's really challenged to know, is it okay to ask? Not, what are we gonna do? So speaking of working together, as we kind of button this up sure. for everyone. This is something that there's responsibility on both sides, right? Other people in the restaurant sure, and the parents. Yes. So how does that work out? Well, I think that other people in the re restaurants might need to be a little bit more tolerant, mm -hmm. but parents need to be aware of how their kids' behavior is impacting those around them. So everybody needs to look at it. You're not going to just shoot dirty looks and hope something's going to happen. You may have to say, is there something I can do? Can I help you? Do you need an activity? I have crayons in my bag, right. whatever. And really work together to make it a better experience and more pleasurable for all. And if you don't speak up, nothing can happen. Exactly. Jen, always good to have you with us. Thanks, Thanks. Erica.